And we welcome you to Oriole Park at Camden Yard to look at Utah Street as we have the Astros and the Orioles squaring off as the O's try and capture first place and get back to the playoffs for the second straight year. Meanwhile, for the Astros, they've been in the ALCS seven straight years after a dreadful start. They are in first place. The lead is four. It's five in the loss column. Kramer, 6-9, 4.30 OERA in 18 starts, 96 in the third innings, 80 hits, 41 walks, 91 strikeouts. League batting 219 against a 28-year-old. Altuve at 404 in this park. Swing and a miss. Kramer able to get him. So Altuve gone on strikes. On the ground, that's to short, and Henderson handles and throws him out. One, two, three, and Kramer continues to do good work. And now it's Yusei Kikuchi, the guy they will face. High strikeout rate and that low walk rate. He goes right after people, and certainly uh, Houston wanted to get their hands on him and tweak him a little bit. So far, so good. Here's pitch number nine of the at bat. In the air, out to left center field, and on the move, and pulling it down is Chaz McCormick. In the air, and that scorched center field, but McCormick waits for it. And Henderson. Retired. That's the end, and Kikuchi gets him one, two, three. So one on and one out for Ben Gamble. And that one is in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag by Henderson. Strike him out, throw him out. And the inning is over. Adley Rutschman, a one out throw. Gunnar Henderson with a great tag. And that'll end the top half of inning number two. They maintain who they are in big spots. And nice play over there by DeZenzo as he went sliding into foul ground on just a little looper off the bat of Jimenez. Welcome back Sunday Night Baseball from Oriole Park at Camden Yards. We're delighted to be joined by the outstanding second baseman of the Orioles, Jackson Holiday. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Kramer getting ready to work here as he faces Zach DeZenzo. Oh. And Holiday has it. Oh, nice play, Jackson. I mean, that's a hard play. You're learning to play second base. How difficult has the adjustment been? Um, obviously, coming up as a shortstop makes it a little bit easier, but uh, I'm learning on the fly. So, uh, yeah, just happy to have a spot in, in the infield with the Orioles. Playing in college town was, was really cool. That was something that really, I mean, caught my attention, obviously. Pretty awesome. Um, got all the cousins and um, both sides of the, of the family, grandparents coming, so. Uh, we're really looking forward to that. Jackson, you're the man. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. No score. We go to the fourth. And happy to be joined by Houston Astros pitcher Justin Berlin down in the Houston third base dugout. How are you, sir? Doing great. Thanks for having me. As a shot up the middle, base hit. Pena stays hot. A liner up the middle comes with two outs. So, you know, there's a big shiny number that I'd really like to get to. Um, that's going to be a few years away, so uh, you know, we've got a lot of goals. That one slapped down into left center field and a touchdown for a hit. Pena on the move, he can fly. Here's the throw to the plate. Yeah. And two late. Right. And you heard Justin Berlander say, yeah, the Astros have jumped out to a one nothing lead. And he nubs it into left field. Just a little flare for Gamble. Puts it in play, gets a knock, and the Astros have runners on first and second. So two quick outs this inning and three singles in a row. Ooh. That is drilled out towards left center field. Ooh, indeed. A bounce off the wall, and that's going to score two. DeCenzo's into second, and the Astros have increased their lead. It's now 3 nothing. Solid hit. One bounce off the wall. This park is real. The gaps are real, and a lot of runs score from first. As you see Justin there with his hands pumping up. What we got the Italian stallion going there. What do you got there Justin. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know what that looks. I can't. I don't have a TV screen to see what I look like. I hope it's not too bad. <laughs> it's never as simple as one guy figures everything out. You're going to get help from different places. That one roll towards first. DeZenzo will take it himself and belly flop and tag the bag. And again Dan Duquette was the guy that did that. Hit in the air out towards right center. Gamble. Kikuchi has been super sharp. Gets a 1 2 3 on 10 pitches. But it's hard to hit 31 homers again. As he laces that line drive to right. He'll take that all day. I was going to say it's hard to hit 31 homers if you're hitting the ball on the ground a lot. 
Marcino Perez has been quite solid this year, but not just as a reliever, but also making some catches on home run balls. And not just with the glove. No, no, no. We're doing it with the hat and not one time, not two times, multiple times. It's quite simple. Just look it right into the hat. Who needs a gold glove when you can have a gold hat? Second time tonight that Rivera has walked, and the Orioles have two men on with one out, and Ramon Arias coming to the plate as a tying run. And the Orioles have something cooking in the bottom of the fifth. In the air, that is caught. Left center field, way back. And see it out. How about that? The three run home run, something that the Orioles have done a lot of this year. They come back to tie this bad boy. But then Sione Betis in the bullpen. I mean, we were just there. We were having this conversation. That's six home runs, and he's caught with his seven and an eighth hat in the bullpen. One and two, one out, base is empty. We're in the seventh. On the ground, Henderson on the backhand. Nice play. And Altuve retired. There's two down. 3-3 three, three ball game, top of the seventh. Bregman swung the bat well. He's one for three. Bregman drives this one left field. That's pretty well struck. Slater back. And that one is gone. Alex Bregman will touch them all. And the Astros have retaken the lead. It is 4-3. Bregman with number 21. Boy, the Astros needed that. It comes with two outs. First pitch, Yiner Diaz makes a bid. Deep to left field, Palakaye, five to three. Back to back for the Astros, Bregman and Diaz. A couple of bangers with two outs. The Astros have scored all of their runs with two outs tonight. Here's Ramon Urias, had that three run homer in the fifth inning off of Kikuchi. In the year left field off the bat of Urias. That one well struck towards the corner. Oh, how about Dubon racing forever and then crashes hard into the wall. Mauricio Dubon being led off the field after a spectacular catch as he was able to rob extra bases from Ramon Urias. So he went down and at multiple levels slash 306, 386, 517. It's that softly on the ground. Rias charges, unloads, and overthrows O'Hearn. Gamble to third, DeZenzo into second. The gold glover, Ramona Rias, throws it away. Infield comes in, one out, runners at second and third. And Jake Myers is going to hit for Dubon. Fly ball right field, Santander circles back, makes the catch. Throw to the plate. And it's too late and offline, and the run scores. Down to third goes to Zenzo. The Astros pick up some insurance. It's 6 3. Myers, a pinch hit sack fly. 6 to 3, Astros, bottom of the ninth. One on, one out for Baltimore. On the ground, and that's the short. And this could end it. Two out, two bait on the first, and that's the ball game. Hader closes it out, and the Astros win it here 6 3.